All right, for this video, I made an entire team of only Mike Trout and Jacob DeGrom, the best pitcher in baseball and the best hitter in baseball. This is the fourth episode of this out of the park series where I replace entire teams with only one player, or in this case, two players. I did a video of just Mike Trout, a video of just Jacob DeGrom, and a video of Shohei Otani, the best two-way player. Now, we're having all the hitters be the best hitter in the game and all the pitchers be the best pitcher in the game. So this is definitely going to be the best simulation yet in terms of performance. Big shout out to this person for suggesting this idea. They also suggested doing a team of only Stevie Wilkerson, but I am like 90% sure that team would not have won a single game and that would not have been as interesting. So I decided to take their other suggestion. If you have any suggestions for this series, drop a comment down below. I will do your suggestion. I have a list going. I'm doing them in order of who comments first and I'm going to get to everyone's suggestion as long as I haven't already done it. So anyway, as you can see here, we have a trout for each position, some starters, relievers, and a closer, Jacob deGrom. Obviously, the issue with this team is going to be the defense as it has with the other teams because Mike Trout cannot play every position. He definitely cannot catch, among other things. What happened with the Otani team was I predicted they would win 90-something games. They ended up losing like 97, I think, 95, 97. And for each of these simulations so far, I have overestimated how good the team would be. I don't want to do that this time, but I'm going to predict a 500 record, 81 and 81. We're going to play opening day like usual, and then we're going to simulate through the season. All right, here we go, opening day. And uh, I just want to say I chose the Angels instead of the Mets, because obviously there's Trout and DeGrom. I chose to use the Angels because I wanted to do a DH so that it would literally be only Trout hitting, only DeGrom pitching. But yeah, let's get, let's get into opening day. Oh, there we go. Is that a home run? That's a good start. And hey, this team might be way better than I've been saying, but like, there's a home run right there. But I just, I don't want to overestimate them again, like I've done three times in a row, so. Alright, 2 nothing after 2. I'm going to quick play to the 6th inning now. See where we're at. 6-2. to two. All right, all right. Two runs in six innings. That is the uh, the definition of a Jacob deGrom start. Just a quality start right there. All right, we click, we quick played to the ninth, and it is nine to four. So more runs for the Trouts. All right, bit of a scare there in the last inning, scoring three runs, but Trout team won nine to seven, a close game. Okay, the Trouts hit six home runs in this first game. All right, the the Trouts or rather the Angels, the Trouts and the DeGroms, dropped the next few games. It would not make sense for them to do worse than the Otani team, though. And the Otani team was bad, but not horrible. Right, they're hovering around 500 right now, a little bit above. All right, it's going to be a tough task winning the division over the Astros, but I think they uh, they definitely have a shot at a wild card. Okay, they are, uh, they're sitting pretty in first place right now. They had a really good May, and uh, they are leading the Astros. If we look at the American League leaders, we've just got trout after trout after trout. All right, this uh, this team might have I might have underestimated them. They might be a contender for the best team in baseball when all is said and done. But I don't want to speak too soon. But I just did. Oh, hi! Didn't see you there. What I can see is that you're still watching this video. Can I ask you why? Is it a? because you like it, B, because you're enjoying it, C, you think it's interesting, or D, none of the above. If you answered A, B, C, or D, then you are a prime candidate to become the newest member of the Weekly Thingdom, the vast and glorious army of the Weekly Thing fans. And hey, a wise man once said only a small percentage of viewers are actually subscribed. I think you can take it from here. Back to the video. All right, moving into July, the Angels are on fire. They they got off to a slow start. They were at like 20 and 20 or something like that. But they have just gone on a crazy run since then. The only team better than them is the Dodgers, and it's close. It'll be exciting to see if this team could like win the World Series or something. Man, this is insane. The offensive numbers just keep getting better and better. I wonder which Trouts have the most war, because like the catcher and stuff can't have that much. Because he's such a bad fielder. But man, this team is dominating. Oh, when they when they got off to the slow start, I was like, wow, I really overestimated them again. How did that happen? But this team 
All right, going through August. They are going to officially pass my prediction Bruh. any second now. Bruh. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. I am looking forward to seeing the uh, the leaderboards at the end of the year. All right, one month left to go in the regular season, and they have just about clinched a division title. Not necessarily, but they've at least clinched a playoff spot. So with the regular season over, the team of Trouts and DeGroms won 108 games. Way more than I predicted. 27 more wins than I predicted. They won their division, they had the best record in baseball. Let's 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 take a look at the playoffs. Maybe I could even play the playoff games. That would be something new. That would be something we haven't done yet in this series. I think I'm gonna do it, and I'm just gonna cut out all the uh I'll only show the highlights. Facing up against the Yankees, who are pretty good, but here we go. This is the American League Division Series. Our goal is to win the World Series. And what's cool here is the outfielders have learned their positions, and the left fielder Trout is actually a great fielder now. And even the first baseman, since that's a pretty easy position, is decent. These guys are still uh, terrible, which makes sense, because those are much different positions from center field. But, alright, two runs allowed in the first, not ideal. A leadoff homer. Uh, we'll take it. Alright, we have quick played to the 6th, and it is all tied up. 4-4. Four to four. Alright, quick played to the ninth inning. We are down by 4. The offense not quite showing up for this game. There's still time. Lose the first game of the Division Series. Okay. Let's try this again. We got our ace on the mound. Jacob DeGrom. Alright, we quick played to the 6th, and uh, we got a 4-1 to one lead. You like to see it. All right, quick played to the ninth, and it is 10 to 1. This one's pretty much in the bag. The Grom came through. He delivered. Though so the series is going to be tied at 1. All right, facing Garrett Cole, the ace. Do 6. We're up 6 to nothing. All right, the Yankees have staged a, uh, a small scale comeback. They're only down by 2 now. It would be nice if we could get some insurance runs here in the top of the ninth. All right, no insurance runs this time. We're gonna need Degrom to shut him down. There it is. He lines out to the uh, the second baseman who makes a good play, and the Angels are up two to one in the series. All right after six, it's a close game, down two to one. But uh, I I think this uh, I think this offense is gonna get some more runs. I think they're gonna score more than once this game. Is that a grand slam? Yes, I think it is. Six to two. Okay, well, they just, uh, they, they piled it on after that. It's 27 to six. They have won the division series, 31 to six, actually. They have won the division series against the Yankees. Moving on to the ALCS. The catcher and leadoff hitter Trout hit five homers in this series. Somewhat impressive. All right, down to three, down three to one after six. Not ideal. All right, bit of a comeback there, and the Trouts are now up 6-4. to four. I keep saying the Trouts, it's because the offense is dominant and the pitching isn't, but I just focus on Trout. Obviously, this team would be way worse without DeGrom, as we saw in the Trout video. All right, and there it is. The Trouts and DeGroms have won game one against the Indians in the ALCS. Continuing to progress through the playoffs, I have no doubt at this point that they're going to win the World Series, but you never know. Alright, Game 2 is a 7-2 win for the Angels. Again, only one homer hit. That's a little, uh, that's a little low. But you know what, we're not, we're not complaining. Alright, here's an interesting situation. They're actually down 3-2 in the ninth. They have got the score here to stay alive. Knowing them, they'll probably score like 15 runs. There it is. Game is tied. Will they take the lead? Not yet. Alright, a sack fly and they're up 4-3 to three now. And there it is. The Angels are up three games to nothing in the ALCS. They have Lance Lynn in this. That's interesting. All right, we have quick play to the sixth, and the Angels are down seven to one. We're gonna skip to the ninth and see if they come back at all. Oh, 11 to one. It looks like they have lost this game. All right, so they drop game four. Four hits. Those are disappointing numbers from the lineup of only Mike Trouts, but it's gotta happen occasionally. Alright, this is looking better. They're up 4-0 through 6. Let's go ahead to the 9th. 
seven to one yep it's a seven to one victory in game five so they are going to the world series will be facing the Braves. Quick playing ahead to the six, they are down seven zip. But yeah, skipping to the ninth, they're still down by six. Yep, a 10-4 loss in game one. Um, I'm not too worried. I think they're still gonna easily win the World Series, but you definitely want to win game one. Alright, we've got a we've got a decent lead here in the ninth, and that's the game. 11 to 5 win in game two of the World Series. Right, we're up four to one in the ninth, top of the lineup. Yep. And uh, that's a 4-1 to win in Game 3. The left fielder trap with his 6th homer of the playoffs. And uh, DeGrom, just totally dominant in this game. You love to see it. These games are always way closer after 6 than they are after 9. I simulate to the 6th and it's like 1-1 to or 3-3. to And then in the ninth, it's like 10-3. to See? Point Reuben. 12-7 to win in Game 4. The Angels are now up 3-1. to in the series in the sixth it's a close game i wonder if it'll be close in the ninth all right i just shouldn't have said that it just became untrue the second i said it so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something in this inning or we'll risk losing the game and of course trout answers the call you love to see it i mean what do you expect trout to not come in clutch like okay they haven't scored yet i should stop talking Oh, yikes. Wow, I really said all that. And, uh, then this happened. Okay. Okay. The Grom is going to have to clutch up in this situation. There we go! Go into the 10th. Alright, surely they'll score this time. The bases are loaded with no outs. And it's- it's Mike Trout. That looks like a sack fly to me. And there it is, a three-run bomb. We're up 8-4 to four in Game 5 in the 10th inning. And the World Series, the world title, is just about in the bag. Almost there. They actually scored three more runs after that, so it is 11-4. to four, One out away from a world title. Here it comes! Okay, that was just depressing, but there we go. Los Angeles wins the World Series. You heard it here first. Turns out Mike Trout and Jacob DeGrom is a pretty great combination. But uh, we are not even done yet. We're going to take a look back at the season and reflect. Let's just take a quick look at these, uh, these MLB statistics. Mike Trout shows up only once on the batting average leaderboard. However, he is numbers 1, 4, 5 and tied with himself for 6th in homers, including a 55 homer season. That's pretty good. Um... And uh, an insane amount of RBIs. Very high on base percentage, of course. What do you expect? Slugging, OPS, that's his whole deal. Nine and a half wins above replacement from, who is this? The second baseman. The same thing happened with Otani, where the second baseman, despite never becoming a good fielder, was the best version of Otani. I wonder why. Is that just a coincidence? I guess second basemen don't need to be good fielders to have a lot of value left fielder trout the right fielder trout the first baseman trout and then the center fielder trout he's only the fifth best trout on his own team and then the other center fielder trout comes second in hits scores a million runs not even on there in doubles 400 total bases from the second baseman that's impressive <laughs> top eight in walks probably like top 12 or something if we're being honest yeah that's about it you get the point trout did pretty dang good um, I don't expect to see DeGrom on here, but, uh, hey, he's on there with some wins, one of them. Decent wins above replacement, that's good, that's good. Strikeouts, maybe? No? Yeah. Let's just take a look at the players. Uh, if we view batting stats, just the batters. Yeah, we had 740 homer seasons. Um... Two 300 batting averages, some stolen bases, tons of wins above replacement, just absolutely insane. This guy confuses me greatly. A center fielder, Mike Trout, is worth negative two wins above replacement. Did he maybe pitch too? Why would he pitch though? It's DeGrom. No, that makes no sense. Ah oh, well, unsolved mysteries, am I right? So yeah. The batting was understandably great. 
pitching, understandably bad. Understandably. Very understandable because of the horrible defense, which was understandably horrible. One other thing I want to look at is uh, their game-by-game -game record because... Well, I want to see the most runs they scored in a game, first of all. Yeah, they scored 62 runs in this June game against the Rangers. That is pretty cool. But the most interesting part of their season is their bad start. If we just take out March and April, let me calculate this really quick. Alright, in March and April they went 15 and 15. The rest of the year they went 93 and 39. Which is a 114 win pace over the rest of the season. This team was among the best of all time despite a slow start, which once again, my prediction was way off, but I'm not that upset about it because I over overestimated the rest of these teams. I underestimated this one. I am fine with that, but this, this was a fun experiment. The team was meh at first, then they got amazing. They dominated in the playoffs. The offense was insanely good. This one was a lot of fun. This was definitely different from the first few we've done, which if you haven't seen them, check them out. Um, I'm probably going to wrap this one up here. It's been a bit of a longer episode because I did the whole playing through the playoffs thing, which uh, we weren't able to do on the simulations before now. But uh, I think it went well. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this, um, just what you thought of the episode. Again, if you have other players or out of the park simulations to suggest, drop them in the comments, please. I would love suggestions. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like if you want to see the rest of these videos. Please consider subscribing. That's about it for this time. So, I will see you all later.